We're often told that we should enable MFA for our users and admins in order to reduce our risk, and that is absolutely right. But it's the start of a story and not the story. For example, here in the Azure AD portal, you can configure MFA. Once again, following the Azure AD interface, we get ourselves into a bit of a muddle. If we take a look at what happens when we press this button, we go to the per user MFA settings, and here we are in a portal that says multi-factor authentication. For the average admin getting used to Azure AD and getting used to Intune, getting into the portal that calls itself multi-factor authentication feels like the right place to be. And for any seasoned admin and anyone who's looked through the documentation, we know that's not right. We know this isn't the right place to be. This is where you should not be. In fact, all of this column on the right-hand side, which shows that multi-factor authentication is disabled, is correct. That's the right place to be when you're configuring multi-factor authentication in the best practice approach using Azure AD. Because you shouldn't be using this portal at all. You should be going somewhere else. And when you click on the button that says, take a look at the multi-factor authentication deployment guide, it takes you to a website that explains what multi-factor authentication is. And if we choose how to enable and use Azure AD MFA, it tells us that we should use security defaults or conditional access. It doesn't mention the fact that there's a portal called multi-factor authentication where you can enable and disable multi-factor authentication for your users and you shouldn't use it. It is not surprising that people get this wrong. So just to be utterly clear, if you're configuring multi-factor authentication for your users, don't use the portal that calls itself multi-factor authentication. Make sure all of those are disabled and also at the same time, make sure you have conditional access policies set up so that you enforce multi-factor authentication at the right time when a user needs to prove that it's them who's logging into their account. I will explain that more in a video about multi-factor authentication and conditional access. Consider this more of a public service announcement. See you next time.